Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So, <clears throat> after reviewing the last... I gotta turn my shit down. After reviewing my last uh, part of this, I realized a whole bunch of stuff I forgot, and boy, do I feel like a dingus. So yeah, we got that. But I'm gonna try to do better this time. All right, we got that. We got the dog, or the wolf, the spirit of the wolf. And our next stop, I believe, is the library? I think so. We'll see. Which is one of my, or is it the, no, we're not going in there yet. That's the, uh... I don't even think we can. Well, anyway, we don't want to go in there, and I forget what exactly happens when we do that. It's been 10 years, all right? Ooh. So yeah, there was a bunch of uh, Richter's moves that I forgot. Like he can do a backflip and he can do like a, his own, he's got his own version of like gravity boots that he doesn't even need fucking gravity boots to do it. He can just do it on his own. And uh, then there's like a little secret room I love this music with a bunch of stuff in it, but I forget because like he can't use any of it. So it's like, why, why bother going in there? God, I'd love this. This library, the way it's designed. Ow, you fencing fucking. It reminds me like, uh, well, it doesn't remind me of, but uncurse that's a very valuable thing to have but if anybody's seen the movie uh uh dream catcher like the shitty well i shouldn't say it's shitty but the weird stephen king made for tv movie dream catcher uh there's a character in there trying to remember his name where he goes to like his like brain memory place. And uh, he it's like this old dusty cabin and he's got all his memories like in a bunch of filing cabinets and stuff. This place reminds me of kind of what I imagine my brain uh, memory place would look like. I love that parallax. Like, you just want to, like, something really good with, like, the way a, a zone or area is, defi or, like, designed, where just the backgrounds, like, make you want to go in there more than, like, the actual level, because, like, they just look so good. And you can almost smell, like, the dust and, like, the, like, the marble and, like, the cool concrete. And like the old book smell. Bronze Curse. We got an armor upgrade. Bronze Curse. And this this spot we'll come to later when we have our gravity boots. Our, and gravity boots in the Symphony of the Night game is a lot like the... Uh, screw attack and like super metroid like you can't use it to like hurt things but the uh areas you can reach are uh similar with the both like skills or whatever you call it i'm starting to pick this back up though i was getting kind of worried like my initial run through like that first like little level I was not doing well with 
my uh, skills. No, you don't curse me. Fuck. So this is a place where when you get cursed in uh, this and I believe most other Castlevania games, uh, you lose the ability to attack. So, uh... Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, and it... It's like the same in, like, Curse of Darkness and Lament of Innocence, and... It's something that's plagued, like, Belmont, Belmonts and Draculas alike. You kind of look sweet when, like, you're cursed. I guess I can re-equip that shield. And if we would have had the... Uh, Medusa shield, if I remember right, that protects against curses. Oh, come on. There. I hate the Bible. Wow, that sounds really bad. I, and I'm cursed now. Great. Don't say you hate the Bible, kids. That's how you get cursed. We gotta wait for this to run out. In the music in this zone, like, oh, just look at the pixel art. It's fucking insane. Like this game wasn't written with like polygons like it is now. Like this was like all pixel art done by hand. Granted, there's probably a lot of people working on it, but still very impressive. And, like, the idea of, like, the animated books and... I don't know. It just has, like, a really good vibe in here. I love it. And their skull, yeah, bounces. And I always wanted to, like... I assumed, like, at some point, maybe you could, like, jump back there and, like, s like sit down in a chair or something. Like, I... I don't know. That's where they keep all the pornos, probably. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. And the best, uh... The best way I've found... That's a double jump spot. The best way I've found to, like, navigate a lot of... These games is, like, going as far down as you can and then working your way back up. Like, go left as far as you can, and then go up, and then go right as far as you can. Yeah, and another cool thing that Metroid... Oh, wait. It's been a long time, old one. Oh, it's you, Master Alucard. What do you need? I need your help. Young master, I cannot aid one who opposes the master. You won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. So this is the, the, the master librarian who is awesome as hell. I actually, uh, if anybody knows the game Terraria, I'm assuming most people know the game Terraria. For some reason, I'm obsessed with making like any building I make, I always put a chair over a hole like that. So like you can walk on the chair and then the, the chair is on a, a wooden plank and you can hit down and fall through it. And I always put like a little treasure room down there. I don't know, it's just weird, but I, I like it. Uh, so yeah, this is our first merchant. In this. Actually our only merchant, I believe. And you can sell. <laughs> like you. Sell things you don't want and buy things you do. I'm interested in this. And this is where all the gold we collect actually has a use, where in previous Castlevania titles, you weren't, you know, you'd collect gold and it would just curtail to like your uh, score at the end of the board. But, uh, yeah. A lot of stuff we can't afford because all the good stuff is super expensive but by the time you get this amount of money to buy some of this crap like you're 
already had found better, which is kind of a issue with um. I'm interested in this. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can look at. There's a a beastery of all the enemies you've encountered, but there's later a uh, yeah dropped items, resist stone. And then it drops like that rare Medusa shield. Other shield. Yeah, this is pretty handy actually, but later we get sound test. You used to be able to put this album in your, uh, in a CD player and it would play the, uh, soundtrack. And I remember, like, when your PlayStation was dying, like, the disc reader wasn't working right, you would put it in, like, a, a PS2 or whatever, and it's like, you have been... It was Alucard's voice, and he said, like, you have inserted a PlayStation black disc. Like, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't remember exactly what he said, but then it would play the soundtrack. So, yeah, this is like a... In Super Metroid, they were pretty good at showing you uh, where to go when you got your new skills. And this game kind of does, like, the same thing, but in my opinion, they do it better. Like, because you can see, like, oh, I'm so fucking close, but I just can't get in there. Damn, that slow weapon. So it's like you, you remember, like, man, when we have double jump, you know, because you know you're going to get double jump at some point. I'm totally going in there. Let's see. Uh, I think that's it for what we can explore here oh and what I wanted to mention about uh, RPGs of this style fairy scroll we have to deal with these books before we can magic tome read our fairy scroll here I think the fairy scroll tells you uh Enemy names. I don't know why they named it. Yeah, displays enemy name. Don't know why they uh, named it a fairy scroll, though. But yeah, the uh, there's an issue with games like this where they have, like, a ton. They spend all this time making all these really cool weapons and... Uh, like the moon rod and like the, you know, flame rod, Damascus sword, all this like cool high damage stuff, but they have to have like, you know, better and better weapons because that can't be, you're going to want to get like the best end game thing you can get your hands on, but it just trivializes so many of the really cool weapons that are in the game. God damn it. I should have put my book out before I... And that that's just happens. Like, the uh, Western RPG style is like, you know, you can make it a plus one, or you can increase the life a weapon has that you find by, like, modifying it or improving it. Ugh, asshole. Modifying it or improving it with, you know, like the, like a merchant system or whatever. But these games, being that they are so old, it was like, you get what you get. So, of all the weapons you find, you just use the best one. And, you know, you'll find like a, without like the double jump, you'll find like a really good sword. And then later with double jump, you'll find like another cool weapon, but it's useless because it's not as good as the one you found without double jump, if that makes any sense. Which may have been just a design problem where they didn't really think too much about progressing, like progression of like items you find. Which with what they had to deal with on their plate, we should go save. It's entirely forgivable. Go ahead and use the elevator here. I love how he crouches down because it's like yanking him up so hard. Like he has 
like it like turns them into a puddle into the bottom of the elevator. Kind of want to get one of them yellow. Yeah. Yellow Medusas. Even though I never used that shield, like it is actually useful in the uh, zone called the Clock Tower because holy fuck, it's like a million of these Medusa heads and a disgusting amount of them are the yellow ones, which I totally forget, Stonehead or whatever they call it. And without the Medusa shield, you just get turned to stone constantly. My hands keep defaulting to the D-pad for some reason, or the analog stick for some reason. Make sure we don't overshoot this. Uh, uh. And they did a really good job with making the outer wall look rounded. Just the... I think we got a boss in here. When we come back. I know that's a teleport, but I forget to where. Oh, nice. I forget we got the wolf thing, which means we can probably use that to this area is likely going to slap us around. Some of the coolest music, too. Listen to those edgy 90s guitars. Magic Missile. Suck it. We're gonna have to go back and yeah, we're gonna that axe is gonna come in handy. Ooh, money. And I wonder what this it said what was the name of this zone? It wasn't Clock Tower, was it? Yeah, it was. I need to stop thinking too in depth about like why the zones are named the way they are. It's like a ruined clock tower should be. I don't think this doggo will get us. Watch out. I don't think we can get 18 health. This might be it. That stupid. All right, we need to use a pot roast. Not throw it down the stairs this time. can make this jump. Ugh. Pentagram. Looks like we can't... Jesus, can't even really do much here. Please don't! God damn it. We need to... Hightail it back. I think if we... Save... That'll make the... Uh, 
parts that collapsed regenerate or come back, and we'll be able to make one of those jumps by using the wolf dash. Might be wrong, but willing to willing to try. Try anything once. Hmm. Ah. And it's the second one. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna need to kill that skeleton first. You. And your buddy. Damn it. He was right fucking there. Whatever. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do. So we're still stuck. All we got is like a pentagram and a magic missile. through all the shit we have, I am literally kind of getting to a getting to a loss. It's kind of funny. One thing I noticed about uh, these old games and whatnot, like I remember playing as a little kid before like internet. I mean, well, the internet was around, but before like most we people had the internet and before we had the internet and before anybody ever thought to put up ooh it's all smoky now I hope if we save the smoke doesn't go away okay that means we did something we triggered an event of some kind but like being a kid without the internet, like you could figure out all how to do all this shit completely on your own. And then like when you're an adult, like maybe like your brain isn't as creative or something, or maybe you don't just don't have all day to sit and run around aimlessly in a video game. This is not good. Don't go for the Medusa head. Thank God. Give me that shield, son. <clears throat> Damn it. All right, what does this smoke mean? It probably just means there's like mist in the... It's getting late and misty out. So I had to look it up because our, our brain failed us, could not remember for the life of me what I had to do. And we were right where we needed to be. We just didn't do what we needed to do when we were there. So that means we got to backtrack, which is okay because with the power of editing, fuck that. With the power of editing, you don't have to endure the nearly 10 minutes I was running around looking for the place we needed to go. This is going to be bad. Get out of here, evil books. Need that money. Hopefully we can afford it. 
Oh God. Run, Alucard, run. Slide like you've never slid before. Use that money. Why? What can I do for you? First off, you maybe I let me know I need to buy the jewel of open. I'm interested in this. And it's right there at the top. Thank you. This will buy one of those. Farewell for now. Right there at the top, blatantly like staring you in the face. The jewel of open. Okay, so we got a, a bunch of new places to try, try out. Whoa, that was a big skull. Damn it. You drop an uncurse, don't you? Jesus! Do we lose money when we get cursed, too? I think there's a ring in uh, Curse of Darkness. I don't know if there's one in this game, but it allows you to resist curse. All right, we got a magical door. We can now open. Up here? I want to say. No, it's down. We just need to be really careful. We don't eat shit. Might as well save while we can. So, so dumb that you can do that and it's faster. I'm not sure if it's even, it might not even be faster than walking. have to do some like go to the lab and look at some frame data and see all right i'm trying not to do it because it's irritating it's irritating to me oh, that was bullshit a mist could pass. No, oh, it was up. Oh, come on. Let me... Okay, you're not going to let me up there. Oh, that hurt. Damn. Fuck. Why am I doing like no damage to this guy? We're going to have to eat one of our potions that we bought. So we are hurting for a, a sip here. And actually, I think mm, if I cannot get hit, 
And if I can execute the spell like a proper video game person. It's so sweaty. I hate this. Am I doing it backwards again? No. Yep, doing it right. There. Farm some HP here. There. Now we're out of axes, so we gotta just rely on our Actually, our spirit might do a little bit of damage. Come on. There. Go to hell. Oh, we went the wrong way. Ball's exposed. Where the fuck is this room at? I know there's one. Oh. This piece is going to be an edited mess. Save. 